How do you guys think about meditation and mindfulness from an evolutionary perspective? Related to finding ourselves in different circumstances from our ancestors, question mark, or making us more able to achieve flow states? Um, well, I mean, I think this actually fits into our model pretty well. Yeah. You have a border between what is conscious and what is below conscious, but that border is set based on what has on average been useful to your ancestors, and there's nothing to say that it is the right border for the circumstance you're in or for modern life or any of those things. And so by concentrating on that border, you can transgress it and you can discover stuff, which is, you know, mindfulness is one way to do this. Humor is another way to do it. Music is another way to do it. Um, hallucinogens are yet another way to do it. And so basically there are lots of hacks that allow you to see what's just over that border and the better at those hacks you get, the further over the border you can go, and whether you can drag something back across it that is useful um, depends. I would also say that we do this in sleep, where most of our dreams are not accessible by our conscious mind, but especially if you, um, you know, take a hammer to your alarm clock or your phone or whatever it is that wakes you up and allow yourself to wake up normally, you will find that sometimes your subconscious mind hand stuff over to your conscious mind at waking, and that oftentimes those things that are handed over are not preposterous nonsense, they're actually useful insight. Mm 